Howdy, I'm Jimmy Cordier with Pinion Painting in Prescott, Arizona. We put together some videos of the most common painting questions we get. You're welcome to look at our website or give our office a call if you want some more answers. Hi, welcome back to Ask Jimmy. We hear a lot about prep work when it comes to painting a house. Jimmy, can you tell us a little bit about the extra steps that you take compared to other contractors? I get asked about prep on every estimate and even more so on exterior estimates. We've all learned what to ask a painter for. We want to know if they're power washing, if they're scraping and sanding, if they're priming. The thing is, all the painters have learned everything to say too. So the difference is, will you really get what somebody says they're going to do? And will you really get it on the whole surface? Will you get it above six or seven feet where you can see? Will it happen up high when you're 15, 20, 25, 35 feet up? Will you get that same prep level? At Pinion Painting, my guys know that that's my standard. They know that I'm expecting them to move the ladders all the way around the house and visually inspect the surface from two to three feet away. So that means they're jumping that ladder all the way around your house, about five, six foot wide jumps all the way around. They're gonna visually inspect that surface. What we're looking for is any coating that's compromised. So to know if a coating is compromised is if there's a crack. So if we see a crack, we know we need to sand it. We also know we need to fill that. So what happens here in Arizona, at least northern Arizona in Prescott, is we got nice blue skies. It's a lot of UV damage. Our coatings typically don't fail because of water, snow, and certainly not wind. It's ultraviolet degradation. It's basically eroding that coating away, making it thinner. And when it's thinner, then it's going to start to either just get thinner and thinner till there's nothing there, or thinner so water's actually penetrating through that coating. So my guys know that they need to inspect surfaces thoroughly. So if there's a crack, they know they need to run a sander over it. These coatings are so thin here because they've either been watered down or they've been eroded so much that you can't really get a thin, sharp putty knife behind it to scrape it off. So we've just pretty much, for the most part, skipped the scraping step unless we're trying to get into tight corners. We're sanding everything. So our homes start with spray a detergent on the home. That helps break down all the dust and the chalk and then power washing it off. And you gotta use a big, heavy power washer. We're gonna use a fair amount of water with a power washer, but this is gonna ensure that the home gets rinsed very well. You can't just go to Home Depot or Lowe's or even one of the local paint stores. They won't have a power washer strong enough to do a good job. You have to order power washers in here. Uh, we're in a remote area. If you're down in the valley, you might be able to buy a great pressure washer. You're not gonna get that here. So you gotta order one in that's big enough to rinse and do a good job. Um, we follow that up with the sanding, so I've already talked about they're going to walk around, they're going to climb the ladders and move around the house and inspect anything, so if there's a split or a crack in the coating, it needs to have a sander run over it, because that's indicating that that coating is brittle there. Um, what we find is they're going to hit it with a sander and that paint's just going to turn into a cloud of paint dust instantly with just a little bit of sanding. That tells us it's really brittle, it's got to go, that's a compromised coating. It might look good, it might look sound, it may not even be peeling right now, but it will be in a year or two. I want your job to last a long time. So what's gonna make me unhappy is if I go by your home in two or three years and I see peeling paint, I'm gonna end up calling you up and saying, hey, we wanna come out and touch up your home. Um, I'd like your home to look great for five, six, seven, eight years. Hey, if you get 10 years out of it with no issues, that's wonderful. Um, it's gonna make me feel good. And I think it's gonna make you feel good too. All this work, all this extra attention, climbing around, making sure the home looks good from the ground and also up close, takes extra time. Um, I don't think I'm a good value for somebody if you're selling your home in a year or two or three years because you don't really need that long lasting job. But if you're gonna be in your home for a long time, I'm your guy. I also hear that people ask, well, what kind of paint are you gonna use? And paint is basically just a name brand. Give me. Here's an example. Sherman Williams have 13 different grades of exterior paint that they stock in their paint store. That's ridiculous. It's just price points. For the most part, 10 of those are just pure garbage. You don't want them. You shouldn't have had them on your home. You, even if it's a rental home that you own, you shouldn't even put them on that unless you're selling. So if you're staying in your home, we're going to offer top of the line products from Dunn Edwards, Frazee, or Sherman Williams. Dunn Edwards has uh, two decent lines. Frazee has one decent line. Sherwin-Williams has two decent products that I recommend. 
and uh, depending on what you're after, depending on your price point and how long you want that job to last, that's how I'm going to recommend it. In most cases, I'm going to give you choices in different price points so you can figure out what's comfortable for your budget. The other thing we're going to do is we're never going to add water to your paint. Um, paint companies spend a fortune with their chemists every year redesigning, reformulating products. And if you add some water, 10% water to it, you've changed that chemistry. That just makes it pure garbage in my mind. So what you buy from me is what we're going to put on your home. And I think that's how we're going to get that long-lasting job for you.